The population is increasing rapidly but the land area on earth is limited. There is only 29% land including deserts, forests and some parts where no one lives. Scientists believe that planet cannot support more than 10 billion people. That's why we are trying to colonize Mars and the moon. Companies like SpaceX are spending billions of dollars to bring humankind into outer space. But there is another option present by which we are surrounded. You are right, the ocean. But how can the ocean help us? To answer this first we have to understand the concept of ocean colonization which means the permanent settlement of the human population over water or underwater and yes it is possible with the current technology and needs there are some examples like Zumeira Island in Dubai and the Conrad Maldives Rangali Island Resort which is the world's first underwater restaurant the idea of living underwater was quite popular between 1960 and 1970 when Dr. Bond an American military physician created a functional underwater dwelling or submarine. The US Navy rejected the project. Then Dr. Bond met Jack Kustow and very soon they made the first underwater colony in human history. Nowadays, ocean colonization has become more popular and various companies and countries are going into it. China has constructed port facilities, military buildings and an airstrip on the artificial islands in the South China Sea. The Ocean Spiral is an ongoing project by Shimizu Corporation, a Japanese company. Company. The project is estimated to be completed by 2030. It can accommodate 5,000 people. But how would it provide basic needs like food, drinkable water and electricity? The spiral would generate renewable energy using Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion or OTEC. In this method, the temperature difference between water at the top and bottom is used by the generator to produce electricity. Drinking water would be produced by utilizing high pressure at a lower depth to purify seawater. Food would be provided by large underwater farms where fish and aquatic plants could be cultivated. On one hand, we are trying to colonize other planets like Mars, but it will cost us so much. Elon Musk said that $120 billion is the lowest price for a Mars colony. Sending one person to Mars will cost $2.7 billion. On the other hand, the Ocean Spiral project will only cost $26 billion and we do not have to leave our planet. Living on water is psychologically more comfortable than living in outer space. Ocean colonization can protect us from asteroids and global warming. Human population shift into the ocean can aid in the development of ecological conditions on land. As the population grows, it will provide a home for everyone and allow us to explore the ocean. Ocean colonies may even form their sovereign states or independence. On land surface, the temperatures near the equator can reach 20 degrees Celsius in the summer and minus 73 degrees Celsius at night. On the other hand, at the ocean surface, it is 30 degrees Celsius and minus 1 at the seabed, but it can be controlled. Ocean colonization will affect the ocean ecosystem. Underwater species will be killed and water pollution will increase. Underwater volcanoes, earthquakes and tsunamis can be dangerous. As we know, pressure increases as we go deeper into the ocean. So we have to construct projects within 300 meters. The fixed position colony wouldn't last long before a major storm hit them. And to survive the waves, we have to build a moving colony. Ocean colonization can lead to two different things. It can give attention to the ocean ecosystem and in the worst case, the underwater ecosystem will be destroyed as in the current situation of the land ecosystem. The sea level will rise by 91.4 cm by 2025 due to polar ice cap meltdown and coastal land erosion. Mumbai, Shanghai, New York and Miami are at risk. They are projected to sink completely in the future. If we adopt the concept of ocean colonization, it gives us an option to survive.